Some days you just want to go sit under the tree and eat an apple. We probably had this shot before, but we took the uh, flat floorboard out of there and uh, used the router and cut the bottom side down a little bit, uh, primarily to clear the screws that we put in in the back, but the, uh, the lid was just a little snug there, so uh, because our board was a little thicker than stock, we needed to recess it just a little bit. Well, we've got our lid in place, we've got our two little side pieces tucked into place, so <laughs> almost almost starting to look like normal. So, we're trying to work our way down the side of the car here, and this is proving to be a little more complicated than uh, I had hoped for. What we have is... <laughs> The sheet metal that came off of there and <laughs> kind of hard to see there in front of the camera but essentially it has a lip folded over the top and an, a return folded up over the bottom well it needs to slip down over here and tuck in here and fit down on this corner post and I don't know what I expected. I guess I expected it would just slip right on there. Well, yeah, it doesn't do that. Uh, the first sort of thing is that you can't... Oh, it wants to fall off. There we go. Just put it up there. You can't come down this way when this is bent under that way. So we've had tried to straighten this lip out uh all the way around get it back flat i may have to work on that a little bit more i was trying very hard not to monkey up the paint that's a lost cause um we're still uh, we've had it on there off and on there a couple times we're still about a half an inch short of coming down as far as we need to come down and we've got some fitment problems there at the back where we go around the corner so we've got to keep working on that and I think the net result is going to be that we're going to have to modify this area up here inside now kind of reshape this top edge so that the existing metal we have fits down over that all the way and I don't know how much shaping we're going to have to do, whether we're going to have to shape it all the way down through here. Uh, but we got to get it down so that it's in the right point here and then tuck it around and so on and so forth. So that's going to take a fair bit. Um, the thing I don't like is that we really are going to just have to, to start reshaping this and then it's going to be trial and error, trial and error, trial and error until we get to the point where we're not uh, being hung up. To be fair, um, you know, the, the way the quarter panel is made, you've got a return that nails down the inside, and then you have the lip that folds up in the wheel well. So the shape of the wood up the shape of the wood up inside here is not uh, really that critical it's not going to be a make or break we just have to get it to the point where it fits inside the metal and the metal gets uh, to be able to be pushed down where we want it so that's going to take a bit and we're going to just have to start whittling away at our wood. I hate to do that. I guess I sort of imagined that um, 
the wood would just be exactly the right shape and the metal would just fit right over it and Bob would be your uncle, but uh, <laughs> not going to happen. So this is a particularly exacerbating job here, trying to get this, I don't know what you call it, rear fender, quarter section, whatever it is, this piece of bodywork to fit. What we've had to do is take everything back off and work just on this piece and get that pocket in the, the sheet metal which is here to fit over that. Now I suppose I've been spoiled by all this highfalutin technology but um, we've had to really reshape this piece of wood to fit inside that existing piece of metal. We got this area here that we're trying to resurface. We have the old piece that obviously fit inside the wood. And <laughs> yeah, the wood inside the metal. Can't even talk today. So we took at the end our profile gauge and tried to mimic the profile of the old piece on the new piece. And that helped because we just simply couldn't get that new piece to come down over this door hinge post. I think we're pretty close now. We've got to get in here and finish shaping this thing. And then I guess what we're going to have to do is just work our way on around the wheelhouse, keep adding wood and uh, keep shaping to get the sheet metal to fit properly. I do have a brand new piece of wood and a brand new piece of sheet metal for the other side. So I'm going to be curious to see how those two pieces fit together. But this is, uh, this has just been annoying. It's just sand a little bit. See if your piece fits. Sand a little bit more. See if your piece fits. And the problem is you've got this area here. You've got this area here. You've got this area here. It's really hard to tell which particular area is is holding you up so I was going to uh, put some grease or something in there to see you know where the metal was touching where it wasn't but I really don't want to put grease on the wood that's just messy so we've been just trying to shape I mean really at the end of the day it doesn't help or hurt the structure but you really want the metal to fit down tight over that um, and the thing is that you've got um, this hinge opening here to do that it's got to sit right and then you've got the hinge opening down here and the sheet metal has to overlap the bottom piece and we can see by the paint line on there where it overlapped originally and when I started fitting I was a half inch high so I'm down to the point now where I'm probably an eighth of an inch high and at some point I think I think we're gonna call it a day but uh, this is just not fun and I'm not a sawdust sort of guy so I've got sawdust and sanding dust all over the place <laughs> it is interesting to look inside this new piece of sheet metal that ostensibly came from moss i bought it on ebay but got some stickers on it and this is just <laughs> how it's welded together up in there and there's a whole bunch of crappy looking weld up in this area where it's got to fit over that nub and uh, of course my new piece of wood doesn't fit very well there either this is kind of crappy looking here sort of a bunch of hammer marks and 
That's kind of interesting. You know, this is the this is the wood piece from the other side, so we're going to have a problem with this area and this area uh, getting that fitted on the other side. So it's just the way this thing goes. Everything's got to be sort of hand fitted. This is the project here that never ends. This part of it. I don't know. I put the rest of the wood on and I put the back in and I'm just trying to get this side panel to fit and it just doesn't want to fit. I'm almost to the point of chucking it out the door and making a new one. And I don't like the idea. I don't like the sounds of that. I can get it to fit reasonably well here and then it's too high on the top and then my wrap around where it goes around the back is too short and if I start at the back and work my way this way then I'm way off up here so I'm kind of lost here I just have to think about things a little bit obviously we have an old piece of sheet metal I'm inclined to believe it's original material because there's not a lot of welding or anything inside here like on the replacement piece and it just doesn't really want to fit this new wood and of course depending on how you mount all this stuff everything's off a little bit this way that way and the other way um, I'm not sure what you have to do here is do your wood and make your metal fit the wood. You're just covering up the wood is all you're doing. Uh, I don't know. I might think about cutting it at the back at the narrow spot and make two pieces out of it. Get it to fit in both directions and then weld it back together however I need to do to make it fit. Making a new piece is not going to be easy to get all these rolled edges and everything. That's probably above my pay grade. So there's got to be a way to make this piece fit the new wood, and I just got to keep working at it. I hate to keep grinding away at the wood, but that's the one thing that seems to uh, keep getting me closer. I think right now up here at the top we're a little high and because we're high it takes everything up that way and I'm hopeful if I grind this top edge down that um, everything will come down and I'll have more room at the back. My little pocket up here for the, um, I suppose it's for the, the rag top is off. Um, so that what it looks like is that the whole deal is back, the whole wood deal is back that way too far. But when you put the back on, there's two attachment points. You have the bolt in the bottom and then the bolt about halfway up. So your angle ought to be reasonably close. Um, you know, everything ties together that way. So I don't know. You go dig up the guy that put this together in the first place. This might be a good place to just stop and have a good think. I think that's what we'll do.